Hello, I'm going to show you the trip planner in the Garmin Nuvi 2250 series. To access the trip planner, you just need to go through tools. Once in tools, scroll down to the next page. Trip planner, those three tacks, just click on it. Now we could start planning a custom trip or custom route. To start a custom route, just click on the plus. Now we need to select a start location. So selecting a start location is very simple. Just touch the button. We could do where I am now. We could also do address, points of interest, recently found. It's going to use all the where to options. Intersection cities, browse map, and coordinates. So you could use quite a bit to plan your trip. So I'm going to use where am I now because usually you start where you are. If that point is correct, just hit select, and now we could choose our next point. Choosing the next point, just click plus. And now I'm just going to randomly select a point of interest. Let's say we need fuel first before we go on our big long trip. Now let's add a third point. Uh, we need to eat before getting on the road after we get fuel. So let's go to, we'll say Chili's here, select, and we'll add a couple more points just so we can show you some of the organizing features. Okay, so I have a bunch of points in there. I could actually move the points around now. Say if I put them in, in the wrong order, I could just touch the right-hand side here and drag it to the order I want. Sometimes it's a little tricky. Go down to the next page using that arrow there, and we could junk by hitting the uh, garbage can with an X on it. And it's not too difficult to move those around, as you can see. Just got to drag them. Once you're done, you could hit next. Now we need to give it a name. I'm just going to give it a, a random name here. And then hit done. Now it's going to calculate the route based on the order of the points that you put in there. We could show the route on the map. We could go start it right now. Or, if we're not going until tomorrow, we could save it and then go back, in, or it's already saved, we could go back into our trip planner tomorrow and then start it from there. Let's view it on the map real quick. So that's the route on the map. It's not going very far, it looks like it's doing a bun bunch of loops. The VO points are those orange flags, green is our start, and then the checkered flag is our finish. And because you could see it's going in loops, we could actually optimize this. To optimize it, just click on the three bars at the top there, and it gives us our sub-menu. We could edit, optimize, delete, or rename trip. I'm going to go optimize order, and now it's going to try to optimize the order of those. And you'll see up here, uh, for route test, the total distance is 6.1 kilometers and travel time is 20 minutes. You could also change the way it routes by changing your routing settings in your navigation setting menu. Now that was a quick look at the trip planner of the Garmin Newbie 2250 series. If you would like to learn more about this product, visit the experts, GPS City.